Hello, welcome to Ellie Vito as we are building the second half, the ghost ship of the, uh, yeah, of the Lego Friends Amusement Pier. So we've already built the carousel swingy thing and all of the, like the sideshow prize winning things and the, and the waffle stand. But now we get to build the actual ghost ship ride, which is, it looks as though it's actually set out over the water. Now, if you missed the first half of this build, make sure you search it up, check it out because it's really cool. But this is also going to be really cool and we will be finished the set after this. And oh, it's very exciting. Okay. All right. So currently we're building up little piers. So the actual bits that go into the water because the ghost ship ride like i said before goes over the water because the, the amusement park is well is set on the pier and there's a little crabby and we got some seaweed in the water or i assume it's seaweed could be mold is it mold no you don't have mold in water do you have mold in water okay all right wait it's seaweed <laughs> we're gonna go with it being seaweed and we've got the first part of the little roller coastery thing but uh, that's all we're going to see of that for a little while. We've still got lots more pier building up to do here. And it'll be interesting to see how this ghost ship takes place. And then other crabs coming on. Ooh. Okay. And we've got some rocky little little things sticking up out of the water here. And lots more seaweed. And those rocks seem to be up at the same height as the pier. So I reckon we're going to be using them as support. Now this is a little add-on for a walkie outy bit of the pier. <laughs> So good with the technical names of this, but it all looks great. And we're getting a matching oh, starfish and some more seaweed. We're getting some a matching rocky bit over here on this side. So it's definitely going to be used for support. And here's another little crab ooh, climbing up the front of the pier. Right. Okay. Wow. All right. We're getting on the next parts of our little roller coaster ride here. We're up to bag number seven. There are 10 bags in this set and there are so many details still to see and so much still to build. And I need to concentrate trying to make sure that this is actually facing the same way it should be in the instructions oh dear okay we are working inside the ghost ship at the moment we've got a treasure chest Ooh, which is detachable so we can pull that in out it's got a, a, a pistol and, and a bone and this which has never ever come in a lego friends set before we've got a whole bag full of gold so we have got a bar of gold and we've got some gold coins with different numerals on them that one's got one that one's got five oh five doubloons Hey, me mateys, and here is, uh, I don't know what this one is, and ten, and two, and so one, two, five, and ten, and now our treasure chest is full. Oh, exciting. And we've got a door frame here. Oh, it's a jail cell. Why is the treasure in a jail cell? And an orange, wow, an orange translucent piece here, hmm, facing the jail cell. Looks like we've got an entryway here. Oh, here we go. Here is the main door to the ship. Do ships have main doors? Oh, here, let's get on the ship. We'll just go through the door. Okay, Olivia has gone through the door onto the ship and she's going into the jail cell to check out the treasure chest. All right, so she's currently hanging out inside the ghost ship. So she will keep us posted as to whether anything interesting goes on while we keep going on with the building. Got lots of purple pieces, these lavender pieces going up, building a really nice wall and well, a couple of matching little walls. We've got some windows looking good lots more purple and it's just so it's so colorful but it's not too colorful like it's not hurting my eyes like the amusement park ones did from a few years ago uh, this is cool this is actually boarding up this window here and it's got eyes little holographic eyes on it and it's pink <laughs> it's being painted pink some more yellow or orangey yellow going up here Actually, I really like the colors in this. They're bright, but yeah, they're, they're bright and vibrant. And here we've got a candelabra and a scorpion. Huh, okay, so the scorpion's here. I don't think we're going to be able to open any of these doors with a scorpion here. Right, Olivia's trapped in there forever. And here is the sticker that right back at the beginning I thought was like for a haunted house. Well, it is. It's kind of for a haunted house. It's for the ghost ship. The haunted ship. Kind of. Let's see how this all takes place. So this goes here. It's got some more little eyes here, like a crack in the wall. I can't actually find a spot for Olivia to stand there. Now we've got some skeletons. So of course, I mean, it's a pirate theme. You gotta have some skeletons here on our pirate ghost ship. And obviously this is the skeleton of the pirate chef. He's got an enormous hatchet. All right, well, just a skeleton sized hatchet. 
might have been a bit excited when I said that was enormous. And he's hanging out over here in this room, and he has got a cooking pot in which he is cooking a light brick. No, he's not cooking the light brick. So the light brick, which I love, I love it when there's a light brick in. Light brick's here. Okay, so it's going to sit over here, and it's going to shine out through oh it's gonna help oh it's gonna help make that translucent orange bit even more spooky here's a bone i wonder if the skeleton has been cooking one of his own bones and i forgot some bricks here underneath the light brick so if we put them up here now the light brick will actually shine out through the window which we can't see because i got all the lights on but i'll turn some of the lights off later and we'll have a look and see how that actually works i wonder if I wonder if as the roller coaster goes past whether you actually just poke it like one of the lego friends can just poke it and make it <laughs> make it shine out. I'm not certain how we're going to activate that. Uh, no way clever, I don't think. I think we're just going to have to poke it. We'll find out as we keep going with building. But we're moving up to the second level of the ghost ship. Is that getting old yet? <laughs> it's not for me. And on this side, we've got some pillars. And once again, these are going to be some cool little supports for... I don't know what for. We'll find out as we go along. For this. For this thing. Hmm. Okay, all right, and we've got some railings here, so this is really good. It means the skeletons won't actually tumble off the top of the ghost ship. Would that hurt them, do you think? Because they're already dead. Hmm, the mysteries of life. Oh, all well, the mysteries of death. Now, we've got the very first of these pieces, our sail, tattered sail pieces, which is going to get stuck down behind here, and it hangs from here, so it makes a little curtain to go through with a roller coaster into the inside of the ghost ship. It's not really a roller coaster, it's a ride. So you're supposed to go through it slowly, I think, and have a look at all the scary things inside and get deliciously freaked out. Okay, we are up to bag number eight, and the ghost ship's looking really good. The inside, all the attractions that we're gonna be looking at, looks as though it might be done. <laughs> it's a bit annoying that I can't open that door though. I'll just have to move the scorpion. All right. Mm, let's see. We're up to the second level and we need to start putting some more railings along here, I think. But first up, we've got a really cute little awning which actually matches the colors on the tattered sails. Definitely need some more railings. And here we have got the plank. It's a very solid plank. <laughs> Emma's trying it out. If she actually falls off that, let me know because there's no little studs to attach her onto. And she's living dangerously up there while we keep turning this around. <laughs> she seems to be safe at the moment. She's holding onto the teddy bear for dear life. Okay, some more railings up here and we've got an animal. We've got a little bird. Huh? That's very random. Why is there like a bird up here? Is that Andrea's bird? I don't know. And we have got a lantern on the side and here Emma's got off that <laughs> got off the, 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 the walking the, the plank so she's actually come over here to try out the twisty turny thing with the bird hmm. <laughs> oh dear me. and some more awning over here yeah okay I missed a piece so that just needs to sit up one more one more brick level still kind of weird to see an awning there why is there an awningy thing there suppose we will see now as we add more to this section here. Oh, steering wheel. Okay, so this is the captain's, the little captain's area for actually steering the ship. And on, on here we've got one of the little heart pieces. Oh, <laughs> that's really sweet. That looks really great. Okay, all right. So next up, we have got another skeleton. Right. Is he a matchy, matchy skeleton to the first one we had? Well, he's got the same head, the same legs, and the same arms. But does he have a chef's hat? No, he doesn't. He's got the captain's hat, and he's even got a feather in his hat. And he has got a cutlass. I think it's called a cutlass, this kind of stabby device thing, this style of sword. And he, uh, he's also got... He's also got a treasure. He's got a heart treasure. And he is heading up to, whoa, <laughs> to fight with Emma and to be in charge of the pirate ship wheel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Emma's just, okay, knocked him off. Let's bring him back up again. And, uh, oh, the bird's supposed to be his parrot. <laughs> I don't know whether that's going to fool anybody. Over here now we have got another little candelabra. That's such a cute way to fill that space. And... I, yeah, I, I still don't know quite what's happening with that light brick. I think it's just going to flash like scary lightning. Okay, alright. We don't have another plank here. 
I don't know what this is. This is hanging off here above the light brick. The spider. There's a spider. All the scary things are coming in now, including, including a bat to hang upside down from here. And you need to turn it around. And oh, I wonder if as you go along in your little ride, whether it actually dangles down into your face. <laughs> cool. Okay, we have got a bottle of wine up here and a goblet. It's all looking really well equipped for the pirates. Well, they're skeletons anyway. And we're building up on the other side of the roller coaster to head back out again, I suppose. Nope, we're just making a nice little support out on this side. Oh, and an archway to go through. And I'm going to assume that we're going to end up with another... Yeah, okay, so we got those little upward-facing things. So we're going to be putting another little tattered curtain here, a tattered sail, to be able to ride through. Ha! <laughs> this is really cool. <laughs> All right. And, oh, I don't know if you noticed on the other side, you put little upside down flowers on the top there to stop the curtain from falling off. So now it's nice and secure. And on this side, we get a blue crystal. So blue on one side, green on the other side. I wonder if there's a difference. Like one's entrance and one's exit, I suppose. Well, obviously, one's going to be an entrance and one's going to be an exit. I don't know which is supposed to be which. Do you? No? Would blue be the entrance or would green be the entrance? Okay, I should concentrate on what I'm doing here. We've got all these little curved pieces to add decoration here to make the front part of the ship. <laughs> this looks like an enormous prop, like a backdrop. <laughs> it's cool, but it's essentially flat, really. So it's kind of like a big, yeah, like a big backdrop. <laughs> this is awesome. And this here goes, oh, it goes on the turny thing. So no, it shouldn't droop like that. Oh, so it actually stops against the little stud there. That's clever. Oh, that's a really clever thing. All right, mast is heading up and we need to put some more of the little tatty sails on it. But to do that, we need some of these technique pieces in this gorgeous blue. So vibrant. Okay, let's get our last two tattered sails in the most, <laughs> in the most unlikely color, but it's a thing park. I mean, it's not supposed to be a real pirate ship. So we put them on here. Obviously the big one goes down the bottom there and the little one goes on the top. That's so cute. And you can angle them too if you want to because they're not kind of secured on the sides. Wow, looks sensational. That looks fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, we're up to bag number nine. So we still got two bags to go. So still lots of stuff happening. Let's see what we're building now. Got lots of little outward facing studs. Oh, tentacles, tentacles attacking Stephanie. <laughs> this is going to be an octopus, a tentacly suckery octopus with falling offy pink tentacles at the moment until we secure them all on with the pieces that'll go on the top like these ones. I love the little buildable animals. They're so cute. Big goggly eyes. <laughs> this is adorable. I've made sure that he's facing the right way. Like his eyes, sorry, his eyes are both pointing the same way, even though they're on either side of his head. Cute. And that's his, oh, hold on. I was going to say that's his beak, but that's not quite how octopi work. Their beaks not on the top like that. All right. And Stephanie, Stephanie loves this. She's going to help me install the octopus over here on this little slanty piece. And this way we can actually angle him. If we move his tentacles around, we can angle him in whatever is going to be the best position. <laughs> so cute. Best position for the people going past. Now, this is a brand new thing full of cool little underwater elements. And they are in that bright coral color, which the camera doesn't quite pick up the vibrancy of these. Have you seen these in real life? They are just eye shockingly bright. We've got so many different little pieces here, two little seahorses. I think we've got two of everything except for the octopus. So they are going to be situated in all sorts of places around the ghost ship here. So starfish down here and over here hanging out in there is one of the little shells, but According to the instructions, it needs to be facing that way, so we'll do that. It looks nice that way, it's a nice texture. And up here on the the little pointy out bit of the pier, or the little walkout bit of the pier, or the pier, <laughs> I suppose it's all the pier, isn't it? I don't know. And we've got a nice big crate. We've got a life boy here, which is good, very useful. And there's a lantern in the middle. This is just packed full of cool details. We've got a seashell now down here. Ooh, little fish. 
Oh, there are two of these fish. And here uh, the octopus gets to hang out on the front. Another seahorse, oh, seahorse, another starfish and a seahorse over here. And the new coral piece in the new teal color. And this gets uh, a little, a oh, little shell on it. This is looking really so colorful and just such a visual feast. <laughs> this, this is very exciting. <laughs> I hope I'm not a bit, I'm a bit too excited. Okay, I think, oh, well, we've just built a fishing rod and we can attach a fish to this. Now there's actually a fishing rod element in Lego, but it's cool to have actually built one and have the fish here like it's swimming in the water, but also being caught. And we've got a nice big anchor with the shortest chain you've ever seen, which is going to wrap around here and hang down on the side. Wow, it's just full of so much stuff. Now, this is the bag that the mermaid comes in, Chloe, and she is, well, she's a she's a minor character in the Lego Friends, but she's turned up in lots of different jobs. I reckon this is her summer job. She dresses up as a mermaid. Is it Chloe? Yes, yeah, Chloe. And she is going to be taking pictures of all the travellers on the ghost ship, obviously, of their terrified faces as they come out again. So if she's just turned up now, I think this is going to be where she hangs out, maybe on this little shell here. We've got another little rock we're building over here and lots more seaweed. This is like a little bit out in the ocean. Got a transparent rod here. We've got another new, oh, another new seaweed element. That's so pretty. That's so, so pretty. And the seahorse hanging out over here. And the dolphin sits on top of this transparent piece wow and that way it actually looks as though we're under the water and this is where the roller coaster is going well the ride is going to come out oh that is so cool and it's like you're coming out through the oh, under the water and chloe will take pictures of you as you come out so that's obviously exit there we go so what color gem was up there i can't remember it was green but that's the exit and over here we're building some more coral with carrots that looks so good. Who would have thought of making carrots into coral? But it looks really, really, really real. It looks good. We've got another little transparent piece there, a nice big tall rod. So this is gonna be under the water. And this here are these like pink electrical pieces. And is this gonna be like part of the rod? Oh, it's a jellyfish. It's a jellyfish and it's going to go up here on the rod. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I had some of these ideas when I was making the really tall aquarium in Ariel's apartment, though they probably wouldn't have fitted because these are quite big. And over here we've got, this is just so exciting. There's a shell with a fire in it. Why would you have fire in a shell? We'll find out as we go along. There's a hinge piece here. Some very cross eyes, maybe. Oh, okay. So this little shell is really cross because it's got fire in its mouth. <laughs> the fire is obviously going to be the tongue. <laughs> That's really cute. The grumpy shell. <laughs> and this is the other side. So this is going to be the entrance. This is going to be the entrance and you can see the grumpy shell on your way in. And so oh, you're going to ride under the jellyfish. You can angle that like right over the ride. This is looking so, so awesome. We've really only got that middle bit in the front to fill in. And that's what bag number 10 is going to do. Now, bag number 10 is actually the bag that Zach came in. Zach is dressed as the most ineffectual looking pirate you've ever seen. But he also has a cutlass and he, there's a spare cutlass. So we could give that to Chloe and they could like, they could put on a sword fight for the punters until her actual hair falls off, falls off and she stabs Zack. Okay, I, I believe they don't get along, <laughs> so maybe we shouldn't give them both swords. <laughs> but let's find out where Zack's going to hang out. He's got some stickers on his hangout. We've got a an, an inward going arrow. It's been framed beautifully in pink, so it's very important. And we're making this little area here quite substantial. So this is the this is going to be the entry. So this is where you actually line up to go on the ghost ship. Here is our little, that little stick thing, which has a name that I can't think of at the moment, that the barrier, the barrier that you have to stay behind. And when it's open, you can go through and, oh, we've got these big long bones to, oh, to make the little fencing along where you're supposed to line up. <laughs> That's so cool. And on this block here, we've got the sticker, which just shows us what this ride is for. 
Doesn't really show you very much what this ride is for. <laughs> she looks quite happy. And we've got the measuring stick here with uh, sparkles and skulls on it. And if you're tall enough, which Zach is, he can go on the ride. You have to be taller than the skull. All right, we'll install this over here. And now the ride, the little ride pathway is complete. What else do we actually need now? We're, we're building some sort of technique thing. A technique thing. Oh, it's a palm tree. <laughs> okay, so what this ride needed was a palm tree. Because you, you need some nature. It's very important. It's probably plastic, but anywho. This palm tree is going to... Oh, it's going to be over here and we could angle it around. It could actually shade the people while they're, <laughs> while they're actually waiting for the ride. Of course, we actually need the little ship to go around in through the ride. This is so cute. This is going to be on the little roller coaster base. And there's only room for one person at a time. So, of course, Emma, holding very, very tightly onto her, her teddy bear is going to be our first person to go around. We'll finish up the ship and then we'll send her around. This is looking really cool. We've got the flag on the back, which gets the last of the stickers matching on either side. <laughs> nice. And I think we just need, we need the roller coaster a bit. So this is gonna sit up quite, quite tall. All right, we'll put it on and off she goes for the maiden voyage. Not supposed to go that fast. <laughs> You're not going to see all the things that are happening on the inside. And Chloe has to hang out here to take... Well, she's too fast. Why did she get stopped there? Maybe because it stopped. Maybe because you're supposed to... St oh, no. I've put these too far back. So there's supposed to be one more stud forward. And that way, that way it slides smoothly around so she can go around as many times as possible. Now we've made it dark. Now we can check out the flashing light which we just have to kind of poke ourselves. So it's not really, it's not gonna really be that much of a mystery if they see a giant finger coming around. Maybe she could just poke it as she goes past, but she definitely gets hit on the head by the bat and we can poke it once she's passed and she won't see because we're behind. And that's cool. They're gonna see through the orange window there, the scene with the skeleton and the pot as they go past. This is awesome. This is so, so good. This looks fantastic. I love the under the water parts at the front too. The, the amount of thought and design that goes into these just blows my mind. All right, we've built the whole lot of the amusement pier and there are more rides to go with this. So once we've built all the rides, we're going to have a mega, mega play with this with all the friends because this set's only got three of the friends in it. So we'll wait till we've got them all and we'll send them all out to the amusement pier and have a great time. Now, which set do you want me to build next out of the new summer sets? Do you want the new cruiser, the rescue ship, or the lighthouse maybe? Or Andrea's new pool, which looks all sorts of awesome. Or one of the other sets. Now, if you don't know what all the new sets are, remember I did a video of it, so have a look. Fill out the poll, let me know, and if your option isn't on there, just write in the comments below and I will decide from your comments which set to build next. So make sure you let me know, make sure you leave a comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you give the video a like, and make sure you come back and watch all my other videos, because I'll be making a new one really soon. And I'll see you then. Bye!